Hello, how are you doing? Today I'm going to show you a very simple way, I'm sure you have seen it before, but just my way of doing marble uh, fondant to cover a cake. So the first thing I did was to roll out a piece of black sugar paste bigger than the white and the blue one because I want the black to be the dominant color on my marble. Then the white just to soften it a little bit and the blue just for a hint of color. So check it out how I twist and I roll it and then we create this beautiful marble effect to cover a cake. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to join these two together and this I'm actually going to cut them in half because I want to place one here and maybe one in here so it will get twisted in different ways now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to twist it around okay joining this and then I'm just going to take the excess of black one because it's a lot and then I'm just going to roll it together twist and roll and then try to what I do is I try to pinch a little bit the colors together so they will like melt in different directions as you can see so you don't have like a hard line when you are going to um, roll it out with your big rolling pin so that way you will have like sort of like this like the, the color one color is melting in the other okay so just pinch them a little bit both sides because only afterwards is that I decide what size is uh, what side is the side that I'm going to use depending on the one that looks prettier for me so this is the first step now we're going just to so roll I put some ice and sugar on my mat but you can also use if you prefer it you can also use um, cornstarch depending on what your sugar paste works better with and now to just proceed to roll it out. As you can see while I roll it out you can start seeing all this effect like shadows coming out you can even see here a little bit of the shadow of the color that's underneath that's coming up and these colors melting into each other I think it's beautiful I'm just gonna keep working it and then I will decide I'm gonna turn it over so you will see what is the difference in the patterns like this is a harder pattern and this is a softer pattern so then you decide which pattern you like better in order to so cover here it is cake. once you have your fondant braid look at this look at the shadow here i love this one uh you decide which pattern you would like to use like for me this one has very hard lines so i'm going to go with this one because i like the shadowing effect on this uh on this part of the fondant so as you will cover any cake just pick pick it up with your rolling pin and flip it over your cake and I'll show you the results. Hi my sweet friend, are you enjoying this video? Why don't you go to www.drcakeexperience.com Check out my blog for recipes and more and see what I have there for you. See ya! Okay, so here's my cake. I'm just gonna cover it with the size that I, with the side that I loved which was the one that I showed you. So I'm just going to go cover the cake and smooth it as much as I can.
turn out. As you can see, I have all this shadowing up here and I also have a little bit of the blue in here. So then it's just deciding which side would you like to be the front side of your cake or which side would you like to work um, with? This is how the cake turned out. As you can see, it's about a skater, boy, um, graffiti man. So that's what I thought this kind of marbling will be really cool for the cake. Um, I'll show you a better picture of the cake later here on the video. And that's how you make a very simple marbling for your cake. You can even knit together the remaining colors and have this gorgeous gray that you can use for stones or for maybe uh, modeling a road for a car or anything. So you can still use the leftovers that you didn't use for the cake. And for an even stronger uh, rock effect, like a uh, marbling rock effect, what I did is I need even more together the colors that I have remaining. And just let me show you the effect that I'm going to get now. It's more stone-like and it, it is also gorgeous to give texture to a cake because it's not totally dark, it's not totally um, marble. So it's quite cool. I really like this one too. Or you have the other side even when I didn't need it that much. And look at this. Isn't this cute? You can do a very gorgeous rock effect or audio cake with this. As much uh, or as least as you need the colors together, you can have different finishes. Or you can even just knead them all together and have a good great oh, my color. friends, do you want more classes? Do you want more tutorials? Then why don't you go here to www.drkschool.com. You can enroll for free and you will have access to free courses, classes and more. So I'll see you at school.